Well, the jury has had this case now for 30 minutes, but there's no telling how long it'll be before they reach the verdict. We'll reach a verdict, but in the meantime, they will consider all of the evidence they gathered during the week, as well as some of the closing arguments they received this afternoon. Robert Chrisman's attorney told the jury he is the runaway jail inmate, but evidence fails to prove he is the person who killed Tammy Long. Chrisman escaped from the Armstrong County Jail around 6.30 in the morning, July 30th last year. Prosecutors say Long was beaten over the head with a toilet tank lid and strangled to death shortly after Chrisman's escape. But public defender Chuck Pascal told jurors investigators failed to test the toilet lid and the shoelace around Long's neck for Chrisman's DNA. He went on to tell the jury, quote, didn't have any blood on his shirt or hands when he was arrested. Pascal also added, the Commonwealth cannot prove who held that string when it was placed around Ms. Long's neck. District Attorney Scott Andressi told the jury the shoelace around Long's neck belonged to one of Chrisman's shoes he wore when he showed up at her house shortly after escaping. Andressi also said the jail clothes Chrisman wore to the house were stuffed under a bed, including a t-shirt with Long's blood and his DNA. Investigators say Chrisman changed into Long's boyfriend's clothes after the murder. Andressi, his shirt and her blood, his shoe and his shoelace around her neck. And right now the jury is about to be served dinner, so the tip staff with the judge's office says that it could be this evening when they reach a verdict. Reporting live from Armstrong County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.